Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another process video. So today's layout is another layout for the Scrap Temba event, the memory keeping event that takes place in September. The hashtag is Scrap Temba 2022. There is a YouTube playlist and there's a Facebook group and obviously the hashtag works across social media. So today's prompt is patterned paper background. So that's what I'm using, a pattern paper background. Um, uh, today I'm documenting the Platinum Jubilee trifle and it's been a little layout kit. It's been in my uh, little box down here for since June. So I'm getting another layout done that's, uh, you know, I had a kit prepped for. The pa the This is orange textured cardstock that I've mounted the pattern paper onto and that is American Crafts Precision cardstock and it's the Brights pack. The lemon paper here is Echo Park, a slice of summer, and it's actually called lemons. Um, I'm using a page kit from Simple Stories, which is see, Squeeze the Day, and it's page pieces. And um, the, these pieces that I'm using were in the layout kit, and I'd obviously put the other bits into my stash, and these, these are the ones that I came across the other day, I'm pretty sure. The butterflies, I wasn't sure where they came from and the little bee and everything. So yeah, what I'd done was broken up the little packet, taken out the ones that I wanted for this layout, put them in the kit and completely forgotten about it. So yeah, that's that mystery solved. I've got two photos here, two four by six photos that are mounted onto white textured cardstock. This is the actual photo of the trifle and this is me sort of putting the finishing touches to the trifle. And I'm pretty sure in a recent Traveller's Notebook um, layout, um, or I think I said that I liked this photo when I flipped through that Traveller's Notebook for June and I, and I should scrapbook it. <laughs> Obviously I'd already put it to one side to do and completely forgotten. So these pieces here are for From Squeeze the Day, that little kit that I just showed you. There's a dotty about flare piece here that the lovely Stephanie gave to me. A little bit of yellow thread here. Bramble Fox title piece. And then this just little square here that I'd stamped onto previously as a test, which is Distress Ink Broken China. The black ink I'll probably use today is Ranger Archival Jet Black. So I think it's going to be like quite a centred layout. Title is probably going to be at the top. I've mounted the title onto um, foam pads to raise that up a little bit to let make it stand out a little bit from the busy pattern paper. Got this heart piece here and uh, the flare piece, which will probably go somewhere here. Obviously, that little bit of twine there is for the um, to go around a flare piece. I'm thinking this is going to be another quick layout and. This celebrate would more than likely go here. So the title of the layout is going to be Squeeze the Day. But um, yeah, this little Bramble Fox piece here is uh, just amazing. Celebrate, obviously that's what we were doing. And then I thought I'd add in this bit here as the Jubilee Trifle did consist of lemons. It also consisted of oranges as well. But um, yeah, lemons too, or lemon curd. So yeah, I think what you see here is what you get. I'm not... Still undecided about this, it was just to the side here and I thought to myself it's the right colour, it matches the squeeze the day and I thought thinking that I would do my little bit of journaling on here but I'm not sure yet whether I like that or not or whether I could just write on the actual page so we'll, we'll, we'll have a little think about that. I'm just going to take off all the backs of the foam pads off of here and then stick that down. I'm going to place this title um, quite it's high up. I don't know if I want it to actually overlap the orange. I don't think I do. I think I'm just going to place it here. But I would quite like it to overlap this photo. So I think I'm going to stick this photo down first and then the other one on top. Because obviously the trifle is the most important photo. I have extensively documented about my Jubilee trifle in. Um, my traveller's notebook so I'm thinking I'm just going to probably write a very small amount of journaling on this page. I think we'll have that across a little bit more maybe. Like that. I've left the photos flat because everything else is uh, mounted on the phone and I really 
I'm an ordinarily I may have raised the photos but I wanted this to stand out and it didn't actually stand out too well on the pattern paper just you know flat on the pattern paper um, I do really like a busy pattern paper not afraid to use it and um, and I don't mind placing things on top of it but on this occasion this didn't stand out enough for me I, I really wanted it to stand out more so let's take the little frame pieces off the back of this heart and pop that down there so because we've got a little bit of black going on here um, I think I'll probably do the journal in black sit that there pop this piece down here Do I want that to go? I think I'll probably have it go there like that. Stick this celebrate down. Beautiful gold piece here from Bramble Fox. Lovely sort of mirrored uh, piece. I don't think I'm going to put that over the photo. I'm just going to lay that below. I want it to sit nicely. And then um, I think I'll do this twine whilst we're here. Just the yellow. It's a nice bright yellow piece that I've got here. I thought it went well. Just wrap that around. Keeping as much outside of the flare as possible rather than it actually falling underneath. I think that's... Uh, I'm not sure if that bit's stuck. I'll just have one dab of glue there just to finish that piece off there. Um, this piece needs to go down. Just a few bits of foam on the back of here, so I'll quickly remove the backs to that. Yeah, it's taken me a while to uh, document this um, trifle. <laughs> keep talking about it. I um, haven't got around to it, but now I'm doing the scrap timber challenges. I thought it's an opportunity to get some of those older layouts scrapbooked, which is what I'm doing. Because they sit in my little pile down here, and I will do them, but obviously, you know, I get carried away with sometimes with newer photos that I take, and yeah, just, uh, yeah, some of the old ones just sit there, but some of them may never get done if it's just an ordinary everyday photo, but when it's... Um, you know the jubilee one is always going to get done that's quite an important uh, photo so what i've done is i've set the date stamp to june 2022 i've not set the date because although it i know when the date was and it, it took me two days to make the trifle so rather than put the two dates on i thought i'll just add june 2022 because that's kind of when we celebrated i'm going to try and do this here without making any nasty marks Oof, yeah well, I've got June, but not 2022, because that was in the way. <laughs> and now I'm going to have to handwrite that in. <laughs> Never mind. Hopefully I can make it look nice. Not too handwritten looked or looking. Not that that matters, but, you know, when you've got a stamped bit and then a handwritten bit, you can actually tell the difference there, but it's fine. So, yeah, I was thinking of using this. Changed my mind. It's a bit too blocky. I don't really like it. I'm just going to do the handwriting here and I'm just going to say the making of the Platinum Jubilee Trifle. Mm, shall I do that now? I think I'll do that now. Black pen. I think I'll put the there and then have Platinum Jubilee on one bit here. One line. there because um the actual sort of title or the the name of the travel and everything has been documented as i've already said in my traveler's notebook quite extensively so this is really just like a 12 by 12 of you know that lovely photo and everything um so yeah it's uh yeah it's documented finally very quick layout again um quite a striking layout i think with the colors and everything the orange and the yellow go together really well. I love this title here. I'm thinking I'd like to put something here now, but uh, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Uh, simple, effective, 
and documented. That's all that matters, isn't it? So yeah, day 16, patterned paper background, scrap timber and another layout done. So once again, um, stay safe. Thank you for joining me. Take care and I shall see you next time.